Welcome everyone to a tutorial on drag and dropping in C Sharp, and I'll show you what I've done. So we got a nice little circle in the middle of our black form here. You can just click it, drag it around, and release it, and it'll just drop wherever you drag and drop it. So like if you wanted to do something where you uh, need to sort stuff around, you know, you could do that. So I'll show you how this actually works. Oops, there we get an error. So it was still drawing while I was doing that. But anyways, so first thing that you need is a rectangle to draw your circle in. Okay, and then you're going to want a bitmap for your background to do the buffer. Graphics for the screen and graphics for the bitmap. Um, cursor to keep track of where your cursor is on the screen. And of course you need something to say whether it's dragging or not and thread to run it. But yeah, so starting off we make a new thread. We set that to run, so this is void run. When this is called right here, this will start. Now I just have a while true loop, even though you're really not supposed to do that. And basically the reason is because it's an infinite loop, or indefinite, I should say, loop. And I'm just doing it because it's quick. I mean, it's not going to matter here. So we are going to define all our variables, make a bitmap the size of your screen, or at least your form and then make a graphics for your bitmap to draw to it. And down here we're going to clear that graphics, draw the thing to the bitmap, and then draw it finally to the screen. So on mouse up, um, we're just going to have it automatically set it to false. It doesn't really matter whether it's contained inside of this circle or not when, it, when the mouse goes up, because false will actually not make it drag. It's only when it's true that it will um, drag. And we'll also need a IT X and Y, and that should really be up top here with the rest of the stuff. But I just put it there temporarily, so that's fixed now. Um, and then what we're going to have is you have to check first uh, whether or not the, your mouse, your cursor here, is contained inside of the rectangle R. Okay, but first we got to define what cursor is. So up here, if we just left this as mouse position, that's mouse position on the screen, not um, the window. So like mouse position, let's say I have my cursor up here in the, the top um, left hand corner there, that'd be 0, 0, and down here would be 1600 by 900. But that's not going to apply to here, so we want this to be 0, 0. So what we do, and I keep doing that, I should just do try and catch there just so that doesn't annoy me. What we need to do is calculate for that. So we take the location of the window and we subtract it from the position on the screen and we get the position in the window. And that's how you get the cursor. And then you have this statement that says if it is dragging, then set the r.x, which is where the, um, where the circle is drawn, to the cursor plus this x offset. Now the reason I have an X offset here is because if we don't have that, and I'll just remove that temporarily, it'll stick to the corner and not to where it was wherever it clicked. So like before if I clicked here, it'd stay in the center, but now it goes like that, and now my mouse is outside of it, which isn't terrible, but it looks better with the plus X and the plus Y in there. And so yeah, that's the reason you do that. And this is how you calculate for that. You subtract where your rectangle's x is and where the cursor x is, and you find out the offset. And then here you set drag into true so that this activates. And also so that this will actually um, update here. So yeah. So you just click, drag it around anywhere you want, and set it down. Simple as that. Alright, and I think that's probably all I need to cover for this tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, I'll have another update video, or another video on, hmm, let's see what's next. I'm not sure, I haven't decided. I think possibly animation next. So um, that's all for now.